going on guys, your boy is here, bring you guys another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you guys today a cool 2D effect that I actually came up with working around a banner. I've been using a lot for my thumbnails and all some you know, random design projects and such. And I basically even called that the glowing tearing effect or some tearing glow effect. I know it's a pretty, you know, not like a wow name, but if you guys have a really cool name for this, uh, comment it down below and then like your favorite ones, like like the comment, which one's the favorite one, I'll probably like seal that. So make sure you guys do that for me because I want to come up with a really cool name for it. But for now, it's going to be called the glowing tear effect. So the effect is right here. It's really it's I've been using it more along with using pictures as the you know the uh, the you know the pop you know feature of this cool little effect right here. So here it is. It's kind of like falling along some of these areas. Like it looks really cool with this stock that I actually have in my uh, my brush stock, my brush 2D stock pack. Uh, it's like actually five dollars. I'll put it in the description below if you guys really want it. Uh, stocks like this. Um. So yeah, it's like really really cool. It kind of falls along this. Falls on the crate right here. Uh, it's just a really cool overall thumbnail. I actually have some other examples here, like this one. And this one, you know, so they're really cool. This is more of a dark scheme, not really what vibrant, vibrant colors. They're, they're still vibrant colors, but they're more of a dark, you know, darker tone with the CC. Um, so, yeah, it looks really cool. And also, this little folder here says 300 likes. So, if we do hit 300 likes on this video, I will do a banner tutorial. Uh, it's probably going to be two series, or not two series, two uh, parts. Uh, the same, you know, banner, you know, just kind of like going in parts. Uh, like maybe focus on more of the background and stuff like that and then secondary being like finishing it off with the lighting and some cool text you know st uh, styles and fonts so that's what I will be doing if we do hit 300 likes of course if the video hits 200 likes though and doesn't reach 300 likes of course it's gonna hit 300 because you guys are so goddamn cool and it's gonna hit 300 likes uh, the secret down below on the description below will actually be active at 200 likes which means if you guys really don't know the past like six months I've been putting <laughs> these really cool little giveaways these little designer giveaways in the description below they're called secret downloads it's actually a little link that when I hit th uh, 200 likes it's kinda like a thank you for me so I do giveaways almost every video basically so make sure you guys check those out if you guys haven't you know been looking for them and all that cool stuff so anyways let's get going on the tutorial so we're gonna teach you guys how to do something like this and along with teaching it I'm just gonna use uh, creating a thumbnail as a uh, basic of just showing us how to do it, I don't want to go straight into it because you know it's kind of like eh, you know. But I'm gonna have like kind of have like two tutorials in one. So here we go. So I'm also gonna put this little uh, uh, this little. I just have like a black texture here, so it's simple enough. But not a lot of people know how to do this. Like you know, make some simple, nice black textures and like like combine them really wellly, well, really wellly. <laughs> but anyway, that was such a bad word. What the hell was that? But no, you're probably going to learn how to do this, though, in the banner tour if we do hit 300 likes. So please like, 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 like the video, share it around. It's a cool effect as well. And I'll make sure I put, like, annotations on the screen where you can, you can skip right to uh, the effect and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get going. I will put this little black texture in the description below or a picture of it or something like that. But anyways, let's get going. I'm also going to use this picture, by the way, for the, the same stock picture right here. We'll just move it more actually over here. Same picture as this one, Advanced Warfare, more Sniper Rifle. Uh, anyways, this is what we're going to start off with. I'm going to make a nice simple black texture. I'm going to go through this like, really quickly because I want to like you know make this as a thumbnail tutorial. But you can use these taxes because this is what I use to make my thumbnails. But along with that, at the end of this little, little, little uh, you know, you know, thumbnail tutorial, quote unquote, I'm going to do the uh, little the, the tear effect. So anyways, I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to just make an, an, uh, a good size. Let's go with 900 diameter. I'm using Control and Alt, by the way, and right clicking left and right to actually make my circle bigger or smaller. And I'm going to just go ahead and take a nice red, maybe something like around there, and press OK. And I'm just going to click like halfway down the banner, or down the uh, the little thumbnail size. Uh, by the way, my, my the, the document size is actually uh, 1280 by 720 pixels, resolution at 200. I don't know why it's that high. I think 64 is fine, but 200 is because I just put it there. It looks cool. I don't know. Uh, anyways, once you're done that with your color, you can simply just go to your layer mode and then go to color dodge. What that'll do is kind of like make the, the red or whatever color you chose blend into the background really, really, really well. Trust me on that. And of course, you can just simply just go to your half circle right here or your adjustments layer and go to your hue and saturation and then mess around with the saturation if you wish right here as well. And then also mess around with the color if you want right here as well on the top bar. There we go. So with that, we're going to actually add in the picture now. I'm just going to just unhide it now. And I'm going to do right now is go to my normal luminance and then take my opacity and just change that to about, uh, I'll say, 35. Nice little solid you know, color right there or number right there. And with this is where it comes, like, where you have to have a lot of colors. Like, I didn't really talk about it, but this style only like, kind of, like, works a lot better if you have multiple colors, uh, vibrant colors, or if you just have a nice little CC with it. I'll, I'll, like, finish it off with, like, a simple CC, like, a little simple curve. Not really a CC. Uh, but, yeah, you're still color correcting it, though, so that's what I'm going to call it, a CC. But, yeah, so we're going to have that at the end. So right now I'm just going to use another secondary color. I'm going to use orange. 
I'll say I'll use this orange. And we're just going to select, uh, select a few spots with a nice little, I'll say a 600 size brush. And select a couple times around the banner in various you know positions and ways. Uh, so I'm going to say multiply. No, not multiply. Color dodge. I'm, I'm going to stick with color dodge and overlay right now. Uh, that's what I use the most. I'm not going to go like so hard with it and like you know spend time you know clicking all over the place. That's going to be basically be, that's what I would have done if I was working for a client or doing a thumbnail for my clients and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just going to simply just uh, a bigger one, small here. Put it on overlay here. Uh, something like that. And then what I, what I usually do by the way with my thumbnails, I use my brush, my stock brush pack. And I'm going to use this one right here. Make it white. I'm just going to click a couple times. Uh, what this does, and what this will do, is when we're going to select it, because I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned this, but I did not use the pen tool to actually select the the, uh, the outsides around. I use the magic wand tool. And so you need separate, you know, different colors or tones so that the magic wand can actually like stop at certain areas and select more of one part and less of the other. So doing stuff like this, which I was going to put this on uh, blur, Gaussian blur. So if you guys don't have my brush pack, by the way, it's the best choice. Uh, I, I'm going to update it a lot. I've been updating it a lot as well. So it's it's like a, a good, full-on, cool brush stock pack. So, yeah, and also you can have these little uh, these little social media icons. So you have to, you know, continuously find them in your brush pack. You just simply just click one time with the one you want. Anyways, select a couple more stocks. I'll use something like this. I'll make this orange. A vibrant yellow I guess I went with orange and I'm gonna go with yellow and I'm just gonna work just work around stuff go ahead and blur it and I have a nice multi like multi-color you know platform of just a nice you know array of colors on the the thumbnail itself and then with that I'm gonna make a, one last layer and then use a nice soft hardness brush or an, a, a soft brush and make it white like so click one time on the top just to make a nice little lighting effect Lower it to about 19 or so. And then now I'm going to go to my adjustments layer and use a curve really quickly. And I'm just going to simply just nice little simple curve. It's making my colors a lot more, a little bit more darker. And like you can see mul multiple colors and it kind of like makes, it kind of like fills it up. There we go. And then once you have that, you can add your text. I just have a simple text already, you know, here and ready to go. Once you have this going, you're ready to start off with the, the little tear effect here. So what I'm going to do is simply just select the last layer, uh, last layer on my, you know, my document here. And hold shift and select my first one without it to select every single layer. You want to press control J to make a duplicate of the, the layers that you just selected. And now you press control E or command E, whichever one you're on, you know, Mac or Windows, and to make uh, uh, to merge it all together. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. So what you want to do is press W on your keyboard. It gives you the magic wand tool, which is selected right here. So if you have never used this before, you gotta uh, click and hold to get your magic wand tool. And then this is where the big thing is. Make sure your tolerance is at 5, right there. Tolerance, 5. What that tolerance means, uh, let's say if I had this at 90 and I select it around, it selects a lot because it's it kind of like going like what the tone of it is. Like you see how all this is a lot more dimmer than this right here? This is more vibrant because that's like the main point where I actually select on this layer 1. If I put my tolerance down about 5, you'll see it'll select more of the parts like around the, you know, the, the picture itself. Or the uh, the texture you know you know the texture you have or whichever you're selecting whatever you're selecting it'll follow along more of that tone of color so I'm just gonna select around the banner a couple of times I'm also holding shift by the way to uh, just you know have multiple selections if I if I didn't hold shift it would simply just you know keep making new ones you don't want that and then I'm just gonna keep selecting I'll say to about here however you're comfortable with once you're done with it you want to right click uh, layer via copy uh, right on your magic wand so just right click layer via copy It'll give you this new layer. Right here you can hide this layer, you can delete it, whatever you want with it. It's just to actually get the duplicates of you know little small pieces of the, the thumbnail itself. Once you're done with that, you want to select the new layer that I just made, double click on it, open your layer styles, and go to inner shadow and change your distance to zero. And then change your size. Actually, you can keep your size uh, the regular. Uh, go to stroke here now and go to change your color stroke to white and then change the blend mode on your stroke to overlay. And then just change your size to two or one, or make it thicker if you want. I don't know what you want to do, but it just looks weird if you do that. Just click, just be between two or one. I'm gonna say two, right there. Once you're done with that, you got a little cool little tear effect here. You want to kind of like finalize it? Uh, we can just simply just add another nice little burst of color right here on the top. Maybe not so big, like so. With that, I'm just gonna add a nice little cool yellow burst. Just kind of like you know fill up the whole. The banner itself, I'm going to add a little yellow, and then put it on linear dodge add. 
something like that there and then with that finalize with another curve a simple curve and then you have a simple thumbnail to work around with the, with the cool little tear effect here so the whole point of it is just to make it more of a tear effect obviously if i took my time on it it will look a lot better that's why i got these examples here for you guys to like you know base yourself off from but anyways i really really do hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said 300 likes on this video will equal the cool little you know uh me starting up the the banner tutorial on how to do those uh this kind of banner this one right here simple enough really cool 300 likes to simply just like the video also 200 likes by the way of course is a secret download below and also i came out with a new self fi product called the crisp pre-made revamp it's for eight dollars and before you click off it's a really cool effect uh that actually comes with the banner itself with this people really ask me how i want to use pictures with this and this and that so what i did was i made this right here so i'm gonna open it up really quickly it's right here what I did was if you put if you were to put pictures uh, right above this little black uh, this little black you know thumbnail right here or layer right here a bit of the space in the background itself if you just I have some pictures here and you can see it looks so so good I cannot tell you like, just look look how beautiful that is so you can add any of your own pictures right below it you simply just use the erase tool like you erase little sh uh, the little uh, you know really sharp edges and then you simply just change your layer mode on your uh, pictures to luminance a luminancy. And then just change your opacity to 10. You get these re this really beautiful effect. I'm really proud of this banner, by the way. So I really, I really, really do hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, basically, what a revamp is. This will you'll get a, a, a PSD for you know YouTube, which is this is the YouTube banner. You'll get a, a PSD for the Twitter banner and also a Twitter avatar and YouTube avatar. You know, avatar is like a whole. You know, it's only 400 by 400 pixels. So any avatar. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video off, guys. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys later. Sister, you out. Peace.